captain and its players were my heroes. Little did I think way back in 1980 that I too someday would run out onto the same pitch that these players graced with such elegance. It was May the 18th, 1980 to be exact, and Cork and Limerick were meeting for the second time to replay the National Hurling League final. Over 34,000 people were present to witness another splendid game of hurling full of excellence and excitement. This is your chance to relive and enjoy those magical moments. So on one of the hottest Sundays of the year so far, the crowds have come streaming into Porky Cueve to witness this clash of monster hurling greats, Cork and Limerick. And Limerick, feeling obviously satisfied with their first performance, have announced a virtually unchanged selection. Sean Foley, who came on as a sub in the drone game, retains his position, but the one man Limerick can feel truly grateful for is number 13, Ollie O'Connor. His goal in the last seconds of the match a fortnight ago is the reason the sides have had to meet again. But this time, instead of shaping up to Cork's John Horgan, he'd a former centre-back, Johnny Crowley, keeping an eye on him. And one change in an already much-changed Cork line-up this afternoon. Jimmy Barry Murphy has cried off because of recurring hamstring trouble and is replaced at left half forward by Danny Buckley, number 19. There's also a new centre field pairing, John Fenton and Pat Moylan take over from Tom Cashman and Tim Crowley, who've been allocated new responsibilities. And the referee for today's match from Dublin, Noel O'Donoghue. So it's the replayed final and away we go. Limerick on the attack, broken up there. Tom Cashman, eventually Pat Moylan sweeping it out to this side of the field towards Danny Buckley into an early attack for Cork. Number 13, Shawnee O'Leary. Saved by Tommy Quaid. And eventually the ball is out over that end line. A very, very good Cork attack in these opening seconds of the match, and it's going to be a 65-metre free to them. Looking at the target. Driven well by John Fenton, but dropping to the left of the goal, and it's gone wide. So the first chance of the match to John Fenton from Middleton in the team this afternoon. Tommy Quaid's puck out, dropping well beyond the halfway line. Johnny Crowley trying to get it out. Ollie O'Connor getting it in for Limerick. That's Brian Murphy in a tangle there with Dennis Cole, and eventually Timmy Murphy allows the ball to go out over his end line, but at the expense of a 65-metre free. That looks very good. That's all the way. It's the first score of the match. Mossy Carroll, a point for Limerick. Towards Tim Crowley, but back down there is Sean Foley for Limerick. Away into the far corner, there's Eamon Cregan, challenged by Dennis Burns and beaten to the ball by Dennis Burns. The ball going out over the sideline, nine ball to Limerick. Jimmy Carroll, the midfielder, coming out to take this one for Limerick. Lovely cut in towards John Flanagan. Ball about to be beaten out by Brian Murphy. Brian losing the ball. Dangerously taking it out of defence as far as Brian Carroll for Limerick. Limerick back on the attack once again. That's Eamon Cregan. That's a great goal! That's a great goal! Eamon Cregan, the sharpshooter for Limerick, has put Limerick well and truly in front in the first five minutes of the match. A mistake by fullback Brian Murphy. So Limerick still in front in these early moments of the replay National Hurling League final. This is Brian Carroll for Limerick. A good searching ball down towards that far corner. Eamon Cregan coming off his marker once again. Nice ball from Eamon Cregan. All the way, over the bar. Another point for Limerick and a point for Eamon Cregan. Increasing his own score in this match to one goal and one point. Limerick now a goal and two to the good. The puck out taken by Timmy Murphy, dropping it to the centre of the field. Limerick seems to be well on top in this sector in this first half so far. That's Brian Murphy going up there. Johnny Crowley covering off the ball on the ground. Dermot McCurtain, the court captain. Only as far as Brian Crowley, Brian Carroll. Carroll crossed towards Ollie O'Connor. Eventually gets the ball up, but that's a very, very good tackle by Johnny Crowley. Gets it the second time. Down towards Dennis Burns. Out comes Craig, and that's a lovely ball. Brian Carroll for Limerick. Beautiful shot, beautiful point. That 
It's vintage Limerick now. Limerick in front in these early moments of the match. One goal and three points, and Cork have yet to score. Timmy Murphy with the puck out. Added to by Pat Moylan. This is Pat Horgan for Cork, challenged by Mossy Carroll. Ray Cummins now with the helmet there, in towards the Limerick goal now. Danger for Limerick as Sean O'Leary tries to get the ball in. He's still in there. So too is Eamon O'Donoghue. And it's Leonard Enright, the fullback, trying to get the ball out. He's under pressure. Tim Crowley, a great shot from Tim Crowley, but right across the goal mouth. Nobody there, nobody able to get a stick to it, and it goes wide. So with 14 minutes of that first half gone, Limerick back on the attack once again. But that attack is broken up. Back come Limerick to the shape of Paddy Fitzmaurice. Straight over the bar, the midfielders, great shot from about 40 to 50 metres out, all the way over the bar, increasing Limerick's lead to one goal and four points, and Cork have yet to score. Timmy Murphy's puck out, dropping in the centre of the field between Mossy Carroll and Pat Horgan. This is Pat Horgan for Cork. Putting Pat Cork back on the attack once again. Breaking for Danny Buckley, great shot, great save! to Danny Buckley, the number 19. Good ball from Liam O'Donoghue, looking for John Flanagan. Tackled by Pat Moyle without a hurley, John Flanagan gets it in. But only as far as Tom Cashman. Up to Ray Cummins for Cork, and Cork now in full flight as Ray Cummins is grounded. The referee has already spotted the free, spotted the foul, and awards a free to Limerick, a free to Cork, rather. Low and hard and off the goalkeeper. In a very dangerous position, it's a goal! Eamon O'Donoghue has scored for Cork! A ball that came back off Tommy Quaid and came out to Eamon O'Donoghue and he crashed it past the goalkeeper. There's Pat Morgan, this is Buckley once again, the diminutive Danny Buckley, number 19. That's John Fenton. But this is Liam O'Donoghue for Limerick, clearing the danger and bringing Ollie O'Connor into the attack. There's Ollie O'Connor making space for himself, a good high ball dropping down between the full forward and full back. As in comes Eamon Cregan, that's another goal! Eamon Cregan it was who finished it to the back of the net. So both sides have had their chances and how Eamon Cregan has taken his. Puck out taken by Timmy Murphy into the centre of the field. This is Pat Organ for Cork, standing about 70 metres out from the Limerick goal. Restarting the Cork attack once more, it's goal to goal stuff. That's Ray Cummins looking for the ball. The referee has spotted an infringement and awards a free into Cork from right in front of the goal, just about 20 metres out. So John Fenton with this semi penalty for Cork. Here he comes. It's now Cork three goals, no points so far. Limerick have scored two goals and four. Puck out taken into the centre of the field. Ali O'Connor for Limerick. And as Ali lies on the ground, up comes Dennis Collin, but he's beaten to the ball by John Flanagan. Gets it the second time out towards this near side of the field. That's Danny Buckley being challenged by Liam O'Donoghue, but beating Liam O'Donoghue. Donald Murray for Limerick and a good clearance from Donald Murray Johnny Crowley puts up his stick Dermot McCartan says that's mine and hits it away long way out of defence up towards Eamon O'Donoghue Tim Horgan Tim Crowley's shot is good straight over the bar and they're level ball is breaking very uncleanly goes towards the point scorer just a moment ago Tim Crowley, ball way over this near side nobody there at all, they're running across to get it 
That's the fullback Leonard Enright. And now here comes Pat Moylan for Cork. Being taken down by Mercy Carroll, the referee saw the free. And is about to speak to Mossy Carroll. And so, from 20 metres out, just to the left of the post, John Fenton once again coming up with a chance to put Cork in front for what will be the first time in this match. Straight over the bar, no doubt about it. Cork, a point to the good. The score now, Cork, three goals and two points. Limerick, two goals and four. Well, we've seen some marvellous goals in this match so far as the ball drops about 50 metres out from the Cork goal. Tim Crowley for Cork, building up another attack way on that far side of the field towards Shawnee O'Leary and Pat Horgan. Horgan with the ball eventually breaks to Mossy Carroll and Mossy Carroll clears the danger for Limerick. That's Dennis Cole and that's beautifully taken, but right across the uh, face of his own goal as Joe McKenna comes out for it. Dennis Burns adding to it towards Eamon Grimes. Grimes playing the ball along the ground, eventually getting it up in his stick. Bringing it back to make space for Jimmy Carroll. A good searching ball into the goal mouth. As Joe McKenna hits it, what a great save! That was a great save by Timmy, Timmy Murphy, the goalkeeper. And he adds to it over this near side, going to go out over the sideline. Dermot McCurtain tries to keep it in play, but that was a great save by Timmy Murphy, the Cork goalkeeper. And the crowd appreciate it. Liam O'Donoghue going to take the cut in for Cork, right into the Cork defence. Joe McKenna, what a goal! It's all goals in this match. Joe McKenna has scored for Limerick. Limerick are back in front. Limerick, three goals and four points. Cork, three goals and two. What a match. And from the puck out, this is John Fenton, number eight for Cork. Way, way downfield by John Fenton towards Shawnee O'Leary for Cork. In there, too, is Eamon O'Donoghue, who has been quite a revelation at full forward this afternoon, given Leonard Enright a tremendous amount of work. The ball goes out over the uh, end line. It's going to be a 65 metres free to court. John Fenton with the ball. High. Is it good? It's very good. Straight over the bar from John Fenton. It's Limerick with one point lead. Limerick, three goals and four points. Cork, three goals and three. Pat Moylan with the ball, looking for Sean O'Leary, eventually the ball goes out over that sideline. So in the closing moments of this first half, it's uh, John Fenton coming across to take this sideline puck for Cork. Good ball right into the goal mouth, up goes the goalkeeper Tommy Quaid, saves it well, then sees the danger, comes away out this side. Eamon O'Donoghue's racing after him, but a lovely bit of defensive work there by the goalkeeper Tommy Quaid as the referee, Noel O'Donoghue, calls for the ball and blows for half-time in what has been an absolutely marvellous first half. Limerick, a point to the good. Limerick, three goals and four points. Cork, three goals and three points, and the crowd appreciate it. The ball is thrown in by referee Noel O'Donoghue, and away come Cork down this far side, Danny Buckley. Limerick, remember, have that one-point lead at half-time. That's three goals and four points to three goals and three. Back into the Cork defence. Limerick's Joe McKenna, ball beaten away there. Straight at Johnny Crowley. This is Tom Cashman playing a great game for Cork at centre-back. Towards the other centre-back, Mossy Carroll. Cody Fitzmaurice beaten to the ball by Danny Buckley. But Danny, Danny has uh, touched the ball on the ground. And the referee spotted the foul and has awarded a free to Limerick just at the start of this second half. So it's Mossy Carroll standing about 60 metres out from his own goal with the free. Centre back, Mossy Carroll. Good high ball right into the Cork defence. Joe McKenna trying to add to it. Out comes Timmy Murphy. Eamon Cregan makes a despairing dive, but there's Timmy Murphy's clearance out of defence. Down towards Tim Crowley. But uh, Sean Foley is there for Cork first. This is John Fenton. Fenton's ball aimed towards Ray, Ray Cummins. Towards Shawnee O'Leary. A shot from Shawnee and over the bar. They're level once again. Three goals and four points apiece. The point scored by the number 13, Shawnee O'Leary. There he is. 
Ray Cummins using his arm, but uh, Donald Murray is there for Limerick. Long ball up the centre towards Eamon Grimes. Number 10 is Grimes. He's beaten by Tom Cashman, who's having one heck of a game for Cork. Grimes slips by him this time down that far touch line. Very narrow angle. Cashman gets back once again, puts the ball out over the sideline. Going to be a line ball to Limerick. And we'll have Limerick's number eight now coming up to take this line ball. Jimmy Carroll cutting it in very well, deep into the heart of the fence. That's Joe McKenna. That's a great goal. We have had some spectacular goals in this match so far. And that was Joe McKenna's goal after five minutes of the second half, bringing Limerick at one goal in front once again. 4-4, Limerick, Cork, 3-4. Out dropping 70 metres out from the Limerick goal. That's Pat Horgan reaching up for it. And he's still going through. Still Pat Horgan. Out of the bar from Pat Horgan, the top number 11. And that now reduces Limerick, Limerick's lead to one point. They lead 16 points to Cork's 15. Or in goals and points, it's Limerick 4 4, Cork 3 6. Jimmy Barry Murphy is on the Cork team, and going off is Danny Buckley. Well, J Jimmy didn't come on the uh, team at the beginning of the match because of a hamstring trouble, but he's obviously satisfied that he can last off, last out the remaining 17 minutes of the match. Into the centre of the field. There's John Fenton again for Cork. Towards Paulie Fitzmaurice. Jimmy Barry Murphy hooks him. Paulie has still got the ball. Tim Crowley in there challenging for Cork, but eventually it's Liam O'Donoghue who manages to get the ball up this far side of the field. Looking for Evan Cregan, but it eventually goes back to Dennis Corlin. And in one sweeping movement, the ball is downfield once again. Broken into the centre of the field towards John Fenton. This is Jimmy Barry Murphy, first touch of the ball. What will he do with it? He gets past Mossy Carroll, plays it back to Pat Horgan, and that's straight over the bar. Pat Horgan scores a point for Cork, reducing Limerick's lead to just one point. Limerick lead 4-5 to 3-7, or in points, that's 17 points to 16. So, just about 14 minutes of the match remaining. As John Flanagan adds to the ball towards Ollie O'Connor, two or three players on him, but that doesn't worry Ollie, he gets up once again. Beginning to lose track of where he is just now. Eventually get back to Brian Carroll. Ollie O'Connor is under it once again for Limerick. <coughs> That's a free into Limerick this time as John Flanagan is on the ground. This is about 30 from the Cork goal, slightly to the left. Once again, the booing. Well, that is the best answer. They put it straight over the bar and increase Limerick's lead now to two points. Scorer Limerick lead 4 6 to 3 7 for Cork. Ball dropping in the centre of the field, runs forward to Jimmy Barry Murphy, being challenged by Paulie Fitzmaurice, but getting a shot in, he's getting it straight over the bar. No wonder he's a Cork hero. Limerick's lead down to just one point again from that point there from Jimmy Barry Murphy. It's 4 6 now to Cork's 3 8. Tommy Quaid's puck out, dropping to the centre of the field, John Flanagan under it, this is Eamon Grimes, that's Brian Carroll, Grimes has got it once again, but he's challenged there by Dermot McCurtain, it runs loose to John Fenton, he's challenged too high altogether by Brian Carroll, so it's a free to four from the centre of the field, and John Fenton is going to take it. We've got just 11 minutes of this match remaining, and there's just one point between them, Limerick a point in front as John Fenton takes this free for four. That looks good, that's straight, they're level again! That was a great, great shot from John Fenton, from just the halfway line. Ready to fuck out. Tim Crowley puts his hand up for it, but it runs forward towards Pat, Pat Horgan. Down towards Pat Moylan. This is Sean Foley for Limerick. 
Dermot McCartan for Cork. Very untidy just at the moment as Dermot McCartan puts Cork in on the attack once again. This is Pat Horgan adding to the ball along the ground. Mossy Carroll seems to have the situation in control. But does it go out over the sideline? Yes, says the uh, linesman. So it's a line ball to Cork, 20 metres out from the Limerick end line. And it's John Fenton coming across. He's a busy man this afternoon. Beautiful cut once again. That's a marvellous point. That is a marvellous point from John Fenton. So Corker in front, 3-10 to Limerick's 4-6. The point scored from a sideline cut by John Fenton. A real ding-dong of a match as Limerick have made a substitution. They brought in Jermall Cathy into the centre of the field. As we follow the play, Sean Foley for Limerick. In a little difficulty, Pat Boylan. Very near the sideline, kept in play there by Dom Punch. Dom Punch sweeping the ball across to the centre of the field where Eamon Grimes is waiting there. So too is Ollie O'Connor, but the ball doesn't go where he intended it to go. It goes back towards John Fenton. That's Paulie Fitzmaurice for Limerick, towards Joe McKenna, up the centre. Limerick building their attack once again now. They're a point behind. John Fenton for Paul. Back down towards his midfield partner, Pat Boylan. And a lovely little ball forward into space for Pat Horgan, who can run onto it, challenged by Mossy Carroll. Easily has the beating of Mossy Carroll this time. The Limerick player looks quite exhausted. And this is Pat Horgan for Cork. And that's a great point. That is a great point. Quick buck out taken by Tommy Quaid. Once again, Dermot for Kirk and determination written all over his play. Coming forward. And Cork now seem to have the legs of the Limerick men towards Eamon O'Donoghue. Another point. Eamon O'Donoghue, the scorer. Clenched fist of all. Cork now five points in front. The scoreboard reads Cork 3-14, Limerick 4-6. Less than two minutes of the match remaining now. It's all up to Limerick. That's Dennis Colan. But he was fouled on the ground by John Cannigan. The referee spotted the foul and has awarded a free to Cork, which will relieve the pressure and give them a moment to relax themselves as Tom Cashman runs forward to pick up the ball and bring it back to the position from which the free is going to be taken. Tom Cashman, who has played a great game in what for him is an unaccustomed position of centre-half back. High ball, sun in their eyes. Ray Cummins reaching up for it. That surely must be it. A goal by Ray Cummins. The crowds are gone wild. Ray Cummins is a scorer. One minute remaining of the match. And now it looks as though it's beyond Limerick's reach. And back come the court men once again. Pat Boylan. Another point for Cork. This is a vintage Cork display just now. That was a great point from Pat Boylan. Dermot McCartan for Cork. Down towards Eamon O'Donoghue. But way back in the centre of the field, the referee has spotted an infringement. And it's going to be a free to Limerick. Right in the, from right in the centre of the field. And we're in injury time just now as Mossy Carroll comes up to hit this free for Cork. Free is taken by Mossy Carroll. Joe McKenna 